Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Rav, and today, episode 115 of the Pokemon Journeys anime aired in Japan. This episode marked the start of the Masters 8 tournament, with Alon vs Leon being the first battle. Besides this battle taking place, there was a big detail that many were hoping to see get revealed. However, it never happened. This was the reference of the Ash Greninja form. Today I'm going to discuss how the Satoshi Kokoka form may no longer exist in the Pokemon anime. There's a bunch of information to cover, so let's jump straight into it. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show your support, and I'll be sure to bring out my next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't ready to keep up to date, and without further ado, let's begin. Let's start off by talking about today's episode and the new information that got revealed. It was confirmed that Alan now owns a Chestnut and a Malamar, alongside the preview for episode 116, confirming that Diane fails to own a Gorgeist. We got to see the return of Professor Sycamore, his Garchomp, Marin, and Chespi as they all watched Alan back in Kalos. A new frame of Hop and Wulu was added to the opening, replacing the frame of Raihan. We also found out that a festival will be taking place to showcase all of the Pokemon movies in celebration of the anime's 25th anniversary. So Alan lost to Leon in the first round battle of the Masters 8 tournament. Besides the battle taking place, we saw Ash and Alan notice and acknowledge each other on stage. However, one thing that wasn't acknowledged at all throughout the entirety of the episode or referenced was the Ash Greninja form. Sadashi Koga has been high in demand of a reference ever since the Greninja episode. Due to the recent flashbacks shown in that episode, the form was not shown to correlate to the original concept, and in today's episode, nothing was mentioned. Let's talk about this. Before I begin, the details I'll be discussing are in no particular order. This is just pure speculation. During episode 108, Ash explained to go all about Greninja and how he and the Kalos Ace developed across their Kalos journey. We saw flashback segments of the Kalos League final against Alan, however the Ash Greninja form was not shown. We also saw a flashback of Ash bidding farewell to Greninja and Kalos, again with the form not shown. Today I had hoped that maybe depending on the narrative of the episode and length, Ash could maybe mention the Ash Greninja form and how he met Alan, but even that didn't happen. Due to this, many viewers are truly starting to think that the Ash Greninja form has been retconned. The word retcon can be defined as a piece of new information that imposes a different interpretation on previously described events. With the differences shown in the flashbacks, this is why many think that the Ash Greninja form has become retconned. I personally thought that the form was going to be saved for another occasion, but now that it wasn't mentioned in correlation to Alan, I don't see how else this form could return. Unless if there really is a slim chance of Ash using his other Pokemon in the tournament. It could also be made known in another flashback, but it really just depends on how. The thing about Greninja is that despite being in the Sun and Moon games, the special form doesn't seem to be as marketable compared to its standard form, at least from what I've noticed in recent merchandise. I seriously thought that even a reference could just tick it off the showcase list, but it just seems even that isn't coming true. I guess the last resort for this would be Ash to reunite again with Greninja in a situation, and then the bomb phenomenon would fully activate to allow the Satoshi Kokoko form transformation to happen. We saw how well that Aura Bond phenomenon activated well with Lucario, so maybe Greninja will have another exception to transform again. It's a very odd and confusing time, and hopefully the form isn't retconned in any way. The anime is now on a two week break, and will resume on the 8th of July with episode 116, with the battle between Lance and Diantha in the Masters 8. But I want to let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter and join the Team Pokerf Discord server to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave it a like as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with my videos and click on the little bell to enable notifications so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.